Hello Undead Legion, back once again with Seven Max. Yeah, you guys seem to really get get into this game, uh, which I I think is awesome because I love this. So, uh, let's see here, mission forms. We're trying to. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! <laughs> you don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Classically literate! Uh, <laughs> Max. Oh, it looks like the sounds are off. Let me. Okay. You crack me up, little buddy. Turn the voices up just a hair. Hopefully, that'll be okay. So. We have to get an application to get in here. Let's see what the monkey does. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. <laughs> you were a monkey? Essentially. Ibo. The poster. power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Glower of Ibo. Marquis. Now treating artificial personality disorder. The black hole. The black hole. What's a black hole, Sam? It's a star that's been crushed under its own weight, destined to desolate darkness for all eternity. This one's very locked. <laughs> this one's very locked. Ooh, Mole Man poster. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Don't they all? Okay, so let's see. So we need to get a disorder. So let's go to. Where are we going, Sam? She's a psychoanalyst. Back to the office. Back to the office. Dun, 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 dun. Ba -dum. Alley of Perpetual Darkness. Gotta love it, right? All right, let's go talk to Sybil. She is a psychotherapist, and she will help us. Hey, who dear Sybil? Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Dun, dun, dun. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple <laughs> things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. I think we should do ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Or obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Hmm. Pennies are the eyes of a dead mine. A pair of oxen boxing in a rowboat. <laughs> Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. The results of last time I let Max drive. Susan Lucci. Oh, fame. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, okay. how about this one? Hating dentists. An SUV crashing, uh, crashing into a. No, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. A uh, bunch of bacteria playing basketball. We'll try that one. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? A uh, squirrel that got run over twice. My Uncle Louis moth eaten wallet. An autograph written in Braille. Go ahead, love notes from space aliens. An autograph written in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? Mm. Twenty nuns with machine guns. Yeah. Whoa, what was that noise? That was weird. Ooh, 
A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. I like that. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing. A light bulb does into your eyes. An or orangutan. Escaping from the trunk of a DeSoto. A war between two teams of abstract, sha abstract shapes. A debit card fed through a document shredder. I think that's more of the orangutan. An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. You seem fairly focused on fame, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with fame. Let's do free association. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Hmm. Fan. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Uh, let's see. This reminds me of a cat I had once. Trigger word brings up memories of cat. No, no, the fox does. Brings up memories of fox. No, the fox. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Causes subject to forget foxes. Possible Alzheimer's. Comb. Comb. Um. What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crock of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. Very interesting. Hey, I'm not imaginary. If you say so. Well, <laughs> this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. <laughs> we can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe. But people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Hmm. Let's do dream analysis. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Onions. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time, things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. There's a silhouette. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was me. It was me! You? Hmm, I think you represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. <laughs> Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? Walmart. <laughs> and then what we'll do? Oh, Jesse James's hand, let's see. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Closet. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? A camera. A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud! <laughs> um, let's see. Not a thing was on TV. 
suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Um, lush vegetation. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Money. A hefty sack of cash was in full flower. Oh, you think money grows on trees? You're dreaming. <laughs> yes, very much so dreaming. Dartboard. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? A dentist. Diploma. It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. <laughs> Please, try to be serious. Goldfish, water cooler. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. It looks ah, like a goldfish. the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was in it? A gun. It was a massive death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. Correct. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. <laughs> Wow, she's stupid. Donut box! I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? Fruitcake. It was a fruitcake. A fruitcake? Hmm. The fruitcake uh, commemorates the day when your loved ones finally cart you off to the funny farm. Really? And you can be sure to expect a fruitcake from me, lady. <laughs> Uh, waste basket. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, open window. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No. No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. Max's desk. Nothing unusual there. Rat hole. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? Uh, clacking balls. It was that staple office knickknack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well. Uh, Nothing unusual clacking. there. Nothing unusual there. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Maybe it wasn't oh, Sam. Oh, who was your special guest? It was you. It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's gotta be in there somewhere. That's Psychotherapy 101. Insightful! Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything... queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your mother. I was right! As I usually am. Uh, what's going on about... I need to... F uh, I don't know what else to... Okay, so what's on the desk? Is there anything else? No. We'll see what happens if I leave. Was that out. the end of your dream? Yes. Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to see their peers age. Hmm. I'd like to tell you about another let's, mundane but strange Let's try to do another dream, dream. maybe All that right. will Alright, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. 
Okay, tell me what happened. Uh, let's see. Well, instead of the fruitcake, we'll go with something else. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? What did you get? A birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? And then... I noticed something education. strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? What can sig signify age? A dead leaf. The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. Okay, okay. Now, dartboard. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? Uh... A toilet brush. It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Hmm. Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? I take pleasure in moving others. Uh, I take pleasure in moving... I noticed something peculiar Death. in the water no. cooler. A source Potatoes. of refreshment. What was it? A gun. It was a massive death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. Let's see. Somebody else is there. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Who was oh, there? Oh, who was your special guest? Potatoes. It was Max. It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. <gasps> I didn't. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Hmm. We should do obsessions with ink blots. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Susan, Susan Lucci. Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? That, ooh, the Marquee at Man's Theater, that's fame. Pigeons on the Marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? An autograph written in Braille. An that autograph with written fame. in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? Uh, cheering crowd has to do with A fame. cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? Uh, debit card now. We'll try that. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Okay, judging by these, you seem fairly hung up on fame, but not so badly that I would characterize it as an obsession. Thanks, Doc. Darn it. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with fame. Hmm. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. I don't remember it. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. These have to do with fame. Emmys have to do with fame. 
Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Marquee at Pigeons Man's on Theater. the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? Uh, let's see. An autograph written in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? Let's be getting close. I'm wondering if it's the last one. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? This is the one that I'm having trouble on. Oh, flash bulbs. That blotchy thing that a flash bulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial ha, personality yes. disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. So you have see. two of the symptoms listed on this form. Now this Am one I, I have arranged? To... I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Sure, little buddy. Free association. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements.